Hi, I'm Sean McMain. Welcome to Ask a Developer. The first question this week is from Kyle, who wants to create an interactive storybook on iOS and is considering using SpriteKit and wonders, is that a wise choice? There are a couple of ways that we can do storybook applications on iOS. The two major options for doing a storybook app would include creating a fully fledged independent standalone app or creating an iBook. Storybooks have a lot in common with games, so using a kit that's designed for games, like Sprite Kit, is a very reasonable way to go. The advantage to that is that you're going to have all the flexibility that Sprite Kit gives you, all the options that you can use within an app. The disadvantage is that you really have to have an understanding of Objective-C. You have to be a developer to be able to pursue this approach. Apple has an app called iBooks Author that will let you create iBook formatted books very easily on a Mac. The advantage to iBooks Author is that you don't have to be a developer to use it. You can create interactive, photo-rich books with, uh, without having to know Objective-C, without a lot of technical knowledge. The disadvantage is that you don't get the same flexibility that you do if you're writing your own app from scratch. In addition to iBooks Author, there are apps that will run on iPad that also create iBook formatted books. Some of these include Storybook Creator, My Story, and a variety of other apps that you can find simply by looking on the App Store. The advantage to these is they're even easier to use than iBooks Author is, and you can author the material right on your iPad. The disadvantage is, again, you lose a little bit more flexibility. They're not as powerful as iBooks Author, but are still really useful tools if you don't have a lot of technical knowledge. So you can see there are a variety of different approaches you can take to building a storybook app for the iPad. And what you choose to use simply depends on what your goals are and what your degree of technical understanding is. The next question we have is from Prasoon, who asks if there's a way to automatically push out apps to iOS devices. So on iOS, there are several different ways that you can distribute apps. The first is the one that we're all familiar with, the App Store. With this model, you use your developer certificate to sign an app, you send it to Apple, it goes through their approval process, gets put into the App Store. When somebody wants that app on their device, then they go to the App Store, download it, and install it from there. We all know how this works. We're all familiar with the advantages and limitations of that approach. Another option we have available to us is developer tools like Test Flight and Hockey App. These are used to distribute beta copies of your app to your testers. The advantage to these tools is that you can sign your apps and distribute them directly to users without having to go through the App Store. The disadvantage is that you're limited to only 100 devices. Your, uh, your developer profile can only support 100 devices, so you'll have to choose carefully who you include in your inner circle. The third approach that fewer people are aware of is to use mobile device management in conjunction with an enterprise certificate. The enterprise certificate allows you to sign your apps and to distribute them through your own tools without having to go through the App Store. It's not subject to the same 100 user limit that a traditional developer certificate is. The mobile device management tool suite that Apple provides will allow software to be sent to your devices without having to have a user initiate the download. Apple's included the client software directly in iOS, but they've not created any server software to do this mobile device management work. If you're interested in finding server software to use the MDM framework with, you can easily go to Google, do a search for iOS MDM, mobile device management, and you'll find a whole wealth of options that are available to you there. That's all for this week's Ask a Developer. If you have any questions, tweet them with the hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.